You're watching the Ship on Day One Field Guide. I'm Hans, let's get ship done. You're probably watching this video because you're interested in optimizing your team's configuration management system. Now, at this point, you probably have a well-scaled configuration management system used across many of your projects and you're probably measuring and receiving analytics and data on how well it's performing. But you might want to tweak it and optimize it to make sure that it's working most efficiently for you and your team and your technology. As software developers, you and I both know that it's important to experiment around with our process and to be able to slowly optimize in small incremental steps. But it's also important to measure each experiment and each optimization to make sure that's actually moving us in the right direction. So for any optimization that you make, make sure that you have a piece of data, a data point that you can track on it. And this could be an objective or a subjective data point, but make sure that it's something concrete that you can track in order to make sure that the optimization is working for you. In this video, I'd like to share with you three ways that I've optimized configuration management systems. Hopefully, these are useful for you. They're definitely something to try out. And of course, there are many other ways that you can optimize your system for your team. Optimization one, make sure that you're encrypting sensitive configuration. And this goes beyond just removing the configuration keys from your code and from your repositories and moving them to things like environment variables. This means actually placing them in a service where the keys themselves are encrypted. That means that your server has to request them from the service in order to get them back. A good example of this is Amazon's KMS, or Key Management Service, which is offered as part of AWS. Optimization two, think about managing configuration separately from your code. Make sure that they're in separate repositories and wholly separate. That allows you to deploy out the configuration alongside your code, but make sure that they are each tracked and managed separately. And you might do this if you deploy your configuration out or if it's service driven, either via something secure like KMS or via something like JSON stored in an S3 bucket. Finally, optimization number three. It's likely that many projects that you work on have similar configuration settings and where reasonable and where possible, share configuration between projects. This is especially likely if you work within a large software organization that has many similar and congruent projects. These are three different ways that you might want to experiment with optimizing your configuration management system. But I also encourage you think about other ways to optimize and try and tweak and play around with the configuration management that your team uses. For anything that you change, make sure that you can track a piece of data and data point on it, make sure it's trendy in the right direction. Thanks for watching this video on optimizing configuration management. You can find many more videos and resources for software developers at shipondayone.com. I'll see you there. Thanks.